Hey everyone, it's Jenny, and welcome back to my channel, The Story Ain't Over. So today I'm coming to you with a recent faves video, and I haven't done this video in a really long time. I wanted to do it as a monthly thing, but found that I didn't really, you know, have a lot to talk about every single month. So I think I might try to do this as like a bi-monthly, every three months, thing and we'll see how it goes but I do have quite a few things that I really want to talk about today including my favorite book over the last couple months, some music that I'm loving, a tv show that I just can't get enough of, and some other little knickknacks that I just want to show you. But before that I want to talk a little bit about today's sponsor which is Nordgreen. So Nordgreen actually was kind enough to gift me this watch and I'm so excited to talk about them as like a company and also the watch that I received. So I got the native 32 millimeter white face gold watch with a pink leather strap and also a gold mesh strap. So I absolutely love this watch. It is just so minimal and has just a wonderful, beautiful design. And it just really fits with all the stuff that I already wear and my jewelry and all of that. And Nordgreen is a really great Danish watch brand and they really care about people and the environment. They have sustainable packaging for all of their watches and they're made of upcycled plastic bottles and FSC certified cartons. They also have carbon neutral shipping so they they have a carbon neutral shipping company. They also offset their carbon emission from their Copenhagen office by planting a lot of trees. The thing I love most about Nordgreen is that they have a giving back program. So whenever you buy a Nordgreen watch, you have the option to donate to one of three NGOs. So there's Water for Good, which donates two months of clean water to a person in Central African Republic. There's also Pratham UK, which donates a month of free education to a child in India. And then there's also Cool Earth, which protects 50 square meters of rainforest in Latin America. I thought that all three causes were just so important and I love that for every watch you buy you can donate to a specific you know NGO and so with my watch I got a little promo code that I can enter on their site and choose which NGO I want to donate to. So yeah overall I think Nordgreen is such a wonderful company and I love what they're doing with their brand and I love the watches that they have. So if you want to go pick up one of their watches or just learn more about them you can check out the link in my description and if you use my code story R you can get 15% off your next order. It's a really great deal and they have wonderful watches and just a really great cause and so I'm so excited to be partnering with them for this video and just to have this wonderful watch now. All right so the Nordgreen watch was definitely my favorite gifted item of the month and the last couple months but now let's get into my favorite book over the last couple months. So I have a lot of favorites but I did want to highlight this book in specific because it's just so different from anything I've read before and it was also just such a breath of fresh air and it was just so sweet and that book is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. A lot of people told me that this was wonderful and amazing and were like telling me to pick it up right away and they were right it was amazing it was just such a wonderful and just sweet story it is like wholesomeness embodied and I just loved it so much. It basically follows our main character Linus Baker who is this 40 year old man who is mostly content with his life and he works for the department in charge of magical youth. So they're a department that like investigates these orphanages that you know house these different magical youth and like kids with magical abilities and some of them have like mixed blood with like you know demons and creatures and that kind of thing. And so he's the person who goes and inspects these orphanages and makes sure that they are running correctly. And so at the beginning of this book he is sort of given this new task to go to this orphanage on an island, a house in the Cerulean Sea, that is run by Arthur Parnassus, this man who no one really knows too much about and Linus is kind of thrown into the situation without knowing too much. But the island is filled with kids who are a lot different from the kids that he's usually dealt with and one of them is the Antichrist and you know there's a lot of other like crazy creatures and it's this really wonderful situation of him you know going there to inspect the place but he ends up really coming to care for the kids and also coming to learn more about Arthur Parnassus and potentially falling in love and it's just you know a really really cute super gay like just really wonderful book like there was just so much wholesomeness in this book that it just made me so happy so yeah super excited about this book and I think everyone should pick it up I just loved it so much and it's definitely like a new favorite for the rest of time all right next I want to talk about my favorite piece of music over the past couple months and it hands down goes to my favorite k-pop group of all time which is shiny and they had a new album their seventh album don't call me that recently came out I think it came out like a week before I'm filming this and I am just a like 
like bag of excitement. Like I just was so excited that they were coming back. They were a group that I've been following us since I was like 10 years old, like since Ring Ding Dong, I think is when I started following them. And I just absolutely love them, like all five of them and you know, them, you know, moving along, uh, even past all the things that they've been through. And just getting this new album was just such an amazing treat for 2021. And just being in lockdown also, it was just so nice to just listen to this and, you know, return back to these people that I really love. Most of them were on military leave for the past couple of years. So like seeing them all back together was just really, really nice. And I absolutely love all of these shiny albums, but this is definitely a like really great one. And I like absolutely love like the more daring concept that they're going for. And I loved, love, love the video for Don't Call Me as well. And can we just talk about like Minho's red hair? Like that was just giving me life and just like all of the aesthetic for the video was just really great. And I definitely do have two favorite songs on the album. Like I loved all of the songs, but my two favorites are Body Rhythm and Kind. Body Rhythm I just really like because of the vibes and the way that they repeat like the line and it just like gets you in the groove. And then I really love Kind because it's such a beautiful ballad and it honestly brought me to tears the first time I listened to it and like the second time and probably like the first 15 times I listened to it because like I just love hearing shiny sing ballads and the lyrics for it are just so sweet and yeah it was just a really beautiful beautiful song so yeah highly recommend going and checking out shiny if you're into k-pop if any of you are shawls let me know in the comments because I love you know finding more shawls um and I'm just really excited about this new comeback and I really wish they could do more live performances because shiny is amazing at live performances but yeah I just I'm so glad to have them back. All right, next I want to talk a little bit about my favorite TV show over the last couple of months, and that definitely hands down goes to WandaVision. Um, so this is the new Marvel TV show that has kind of recently started airing on Disney Plus, and a lot of you probably already know about this, but I just want to talk about it a little bit because I think it's just so incredible and just love the way that they're teasing so many things for the future movies and, you know, bringing back things from, like, older movies. But WandaVision just kind of starts off with, like, Wanda and Vision in, like, this kind of alternate reality where they are, like, on a sitcom, and it goes through different decades over the course of the episodes, and it's just so much fun. And I'm loving the way that they're slowly revealing things and I love the fashion as well and I honestly just love seeing like Wanda and Vision together on screen again so yeah I'm like super curious as to how it's gonna end when I'm filming this I think the eighth episode has just come out and I haven't seen it yet so yeah a lot has gone down it's going insane. If you haven't started watching WandaVision yet, go check it out. It's definitely one for Marvel fans, but I think you can still find some fun in it, even if you aren't a super huge Marvel fan. But there are definitely a lot of Easter eggs, so definitely brush up on your Marvel knowledge. And it's just making me excited, like, during lockdown and when I know I can't go to the movies, like, still getting this piece of content is really nice. And I'm excited to see how the other Marvel TV shows are going to be, like the Falcon and Winter Soldier one and the Loki one. So, yeah, there's a lot to come, and I'm just excited about this year of Marvel content. All right, last I want to talk about a couple of things that were gifted to me. So one thing that I received in a book box and one that was actually a gift from someone. So the first thing is this pennant flag from the From Olympus with Love Owl Crate box. So it's the January box and I do have an unboxing for this so you can go check that out in the description. I'll leave the link or on the screen somewhere. But I love, love, love this pennant flag. It's like a beautiful black and it's got like the gold around it. And I thought it was the perfect thing to put my pins on. And so actually this has become a favorite thing because I was able to put my pins on it. And I just think it looks so freaking beautiful. And I love all of these pins. Like they're just so pretty. So yeah, I'm excited to have this and it's just really nice to just hang on like the corner of my bookshelves. Um, it just looks really pretty. But yeah, I would love to hear from you guys like how you kind of organize your pins. Do you keep them on a pennant flag? Do you put them on like a jean jacket? I used to do that, but then I lost one and then I got really scared about losing more. I feel like I'm really precious about like the pins that I really like. And so even though I want to like display them in a really nice way, I'm just like, I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Oh, I lied. I have one more thing that I'm going to share after this next thing that was gifted to me. So I got this cute little Sailor Moon wallet gifted to me by a friend and it's just the cutest little thing. As you guys may know, I am like a super huge Sailor Moon fan and you can see all the cards in there. And it's just the cutest little thing. It's just like this really small wallet. I like while it's this size. I'm not really a fan of like the big ones that I used to use. So yeah, it's just really adorable. I love how it has like the little bow and her like locket 
and it's just super cute. All right, and the final thing that I wanted to mention in this video is another item that was gifted to me, and this was by Big Honcho Media for the event that I did with Cassandra Clare and Emma Books and uh, Hannah from A Clockwork Reader, and this is this beautiful Victorian teacup set that is inspired by Chain of Iron, so it's just a beautiful little teacup, and it's got like this saucer with like the B on it from Chain of Iron. And then it also has the tagline of the book on the inside of the cup, which says you never forget your first betrayal. And it's just really beautifully designed. And I just love that this is like one of the few in the world <laughs> that exists. So yeah, I'm just really excited about that. And I'm definitely gonna act like, you know, a Victorian lady with this whenever I feel like it. <laughs> All right, but those were all of my recent faves that I wanted to talk about. Let me know down below what your favorite book over the last couple months has been, you know, what music you're listening to, what your favorite little things that you've gotten are. And let me know if you have any similar interests to me, like Sailor Moon and, you know, Shiny, like any of those things. And if you're enjoying WandaVision, I would love to know. But yeah, just a lot of things that I'm just loving and I want to share all of the love. Um, but definitely go check out Nordgreen in the description down below and use my code STORYR to get 15% off of your orders. I really think they're a great company and I love their watches and I just can't wait to like wear this everywhere and like just roll up. It's gonna be great. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Go check out my Twitter and Instagram in the description down below and I will see you in my next video. So please remember that this story ain't over. Bye!